I've got, you know, English sounding Scottish friends who, when they go back north of the border now, they're seen as English by dint of sounding English, even though they've got ancestry stretching back, you know, eons of Scottishness. It's, it feels like, as part of the toxic politics of, uh, of nationalist politics in Scotland, like the way you sound is the most important thing sometimes. Well, you know, Colin, I could speak with a Scottish accent if you want me to, but I think a lot of your viewers wouldn't really follow what I'm saying. So I'll just switch back. <laughs> um, but um, I think there's been an awful lot of you know, really revolting, racist, toxic nationalism. It shouldn't be down to how people sound or uh, how they look or where they were born um, uh, to, 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 to be uh, uh, regarded as, 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 as Scottish or not. It's it's really very unpleasant. There's there's, there's a a nasty undertone uh, amongst a lot of the Scottish national nationalists uh, uh, to pr promoting that line. And you know Nicola Sturgeon will hold back from it, but she nevertheless promotes it um, promotes it herself in a sort of um, uh, restrained sort of way. I mean the whole thing is basically about grievance. I mean rather than trying to run Scotland properly, which the SNP have completely failed to do, lower economic growth, increasing poverty, shocking health service, a once great education system reduced to an appalling condition, et cetera, et cetera. They just distract people's attention by ranting on about independence. You know, whichever way this goes, whether this independence referendum is allowed or not, it'll enable them to just and only talk about that as opposed to their appalling record, you know, for the next year or so. And that's what they want. Peter Young, nice talking to you. Thanks very much indeed. Uh, coming up, uh, a man has been arrested on suspicion of murder following a suspected, uh, well, in quotes, stranger attack on a woman in East London. What drives people to randomly attack a stranger. Statistically, how common is it? We'll speak to a former Scotland Yard detective, Peter Blexley, next. Back in a moment. <laughs>